What's up guys, it's Enzo HD here and it's currently 3.40 in the morning but I feel like doing a tutorial so I might as well, this one's going to be on Sony Vegas and it's on the CC lens and if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you a preview right now So yeah guys, it's some sort of water droplet effect that kind of is basically a great transition or a great effect for montages, animations etc So yeah, let's begin by firstly getting Sony Vegas up, I've already got it up and I'm just going to get a clip I'm just going to get a random picture you can use a video wherever you like just like that yep, and let me just, just make the full screen just like that, now firstly what you want to do is create a new video track to go above the image video or video and once you've done that you want to go to media generator go to color gradient and find yourself a elliptical ring just like that, place it on top now I've already got some preset settings and I'm just going to tell you them they are for the aspect ratio angle they are 60 so 60.0 and the distance is 0 0.230 just like that now what you're going to get is on, on the preview here it's going to be a slight oval but on the screen it should be a nice circle just like this now you can muck about with them you don't have to use these settings but these are the ones I use and once you've done that, you've got your circle. Next, what you want to do is change your compositing mode. Change that to custom, and you pick the Sony height map, just like that. Double click it, and you're gonna see already starting to get that effect exactly what you want. But I've got my own presets for this part as well, so you could jot those down as well. They're right here, and they are. My amplitude is 0 0.121. My elevation is 0 0.098 and my height scale is 0 0.227. Now my smoothness is on 23 and my edge pixel handling is wrap pixel around. So originally it would be on the transparent background but I changed it to this one. And yeah guys like I've said before with the other one you don't have to use these settings. You can change them above. Some people like to increase this. It create, might create a better effect etc for now uh, just leave it like this and you once you've closed it now it's time to animate it to create it from like small to big yeah and to do that you go into the pen and crop tool that's this square right here click that <coughs> and firstly just to zoom out a bit um, just like this zoom out and what you want to firstly do is drag your box outwards make it as big as possible Firstly, and add yourself a keyframe right here. Create keyframe. This button, uh, diamond with a plus on it, just like that, and go all the way to the end or whenever you want it to to go. Wait, this is clearly the wrong spot. There we go. As wherever it is on your image, just like that, and just zoom back in again, just like this. We'll just put it there. We go. And put yourself another keyframe, but I think it automatically does does one anyway. And once you've done that, let me just make this so it's the same size. That's why before when I tried to put it at the end, the image disappeared because this track was longer than the other one. And once you've done that, just play it, and as you can see, a a nice CC lens. Now obviously this one's quite slow. Now if I just drag this, if I just change it from the panel crop, just move the keyframe to two seconds just like that it's gonna be a bit faster let's try making it a bit more faster let's put it right here there we go that's quite fast and yeah guys hope you learned from this tutorial and yeah you can use this for loads of stuff and there's not much else i can say um thanks for watching guys